Hi, uh, this is a quick demo just to give you an idea of how interactive development might look like. I will be using Clojure and Flight Table uh, to develop a function that parses URLs. Uh, what I have here is a production application running in the background in terminal and I have my editor already open. And first thing to do is to connect them together, which in case of Flight Table looks like that. After that, we go to file we will be working in. Uh, in our case, it is a utilities file and it has all sort of usual stuff. We go to the end of the file, we create some space here. And the first thing to do is let's check if the connection is working. So we just evaluate expression and see if uh, we get the result back. What happened here is uh, this expression was sent to the application running in the background, evaluated there, and the result was sent back and displayed in the editor. So it looks like it works, uh, which is great, and which means we can start can start working on our function. So we want to parse a, a new URL. Uh, and what is a new URL? Let's imagine uh, the most complex URL possible. Uh, in our case, it will be, it will have schema, domain, some pass, um, some, query and some fragment like that we will be parsing it with a regular expression so let's just add a regular uh, expression function here and let's just check that i've got everything right uh, by matching the match all pattern uh, it looks like it works so we can start um, actually parsing it right so we will start with schema Schema is a letter followed by uh, this sequence. And if we run it, uh, we see it doesn't match because uh, actually what we did instead of uh, one letter, we need uh, at least one letter. Now it works and we, we would like to capture that into a group. And uh, we see now that there is uh, the schema got parsed and stored in a separate result, which is great. Uh, which means we can move on to the domain. In our case, domain is uh, everything that isn't forward slash. Uh, it must look like that. And again, we see that domain get parsed and stored in a separate string, which is exactly what we needed. So we can continue. Uh, we continue with a uh, pass part, which is uh, everything up until uh, query but in this case it's optional so this is our pass we will have uh, query which is everything up until fragment like again it's optional it's like that and then we have finally we have fragment with which optional as well something like that uh, we it looks like we have all the right parts here so we can just assign them to what we need. So we need uh, schema, domain, pass, query, and fragment here, here. And we need to store that uh, into a map, which is idiomatic for closure. So we'll do just that right now, pass, query, check and it looks like it, we got the right map with all the right keys so what we do now it's time to convert it to the function right so uh, so far it was just an expression that we played around with and we need uh, a fun to make a function from it so what we do we, we replace this constant string with a into parameter we put it into a def one, we see it worked, and let's just uh, call that function on a string we just had, uh, just to see uh, that we haven't lost anything. And it looks like it, it works okay, right? At this point, I would start to write some test cases, like uh, edge cases, for example, what we, if we just have a domain, would it work? It seems yes. What if we just had a pass, some minimal pass, would it work? Again, it seems it did work. What if we just had a query? 
And here we see it does it didn't work. So we have a wrong domain name and we have empty query. So it's not exactly what we wanted. So we get back and we fix our regular expression here uh, by basically by adding more escape characters here and we go back we recheck and right right now this uh, function call returns what we expect it, expect it to return we might as well go back and check that everything we did uh worked tested previously still works and look like like it does uh which is great which means we have a more reliably working function now and so on so i would like uh, i would probably uh, write a couple of more h test cases uh, just to check that we've got everything right and after that i would start to converting them into actual tests so basically it looks like that mm. like that we would uh, need query test here for this to work we define test and uh, finally we just run tests and it says us that we have one test and it worked so it's great i would probably move that uh, into a separate file i would well parse url stays here so what we've got at the end of it we've got a couple of tests so i would move that into a test as well we've got working function and that's basically it that's interactive development for you